This ingredient was actually banned in Hawaii because it causes damage to the coral reefs. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zoya Day, licensed esthetician, and this is Day's Beauty Room. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the importance of sunscreen, what ingredients to avoid, and the best ways to apply it. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and let's get into today's video. So before we get into the different types of sunscreen and what to look for and avoid, let's talk about what sunscreen actually does for you and why it's so important. So sunscreen helps to reduce the overall UV exposure to the skin and it also lowers your risk of skin cancer and sun damage. Now the reason why we use sunscreen and why it's so important is because the sun's UV rays are extremely powerful when it comes in contact with the skin and it can create sun damage like sunspots and darkening of any hyperpigmentation or breakouts that you might have. The sun's UV rays can create damages and aging within the skin all the way up to certain skin cancers. Now that we've talked about why you need sunscreen and why it's so important, now let's talk about what to actually look for in a sunscreen. So one of the two most important things you want to look for in a sunscreen is, is called broad spectrum, which indicates the sunscreen's protections from UVA and UVB rays and the SPF within the sunscreen. So most dermatologists and estheticians or skin specialists recommend using an SPF between 30 and 50, which will provide about 3% more protection than normal sunscreen. So it's about 95 to 97% more protection than any other sunscreen's SPF. Now there are two different ways you can get sun protection. You can either get it in the form of a sunscreen or a sunblock. And each of them work differently to provide the same protection from the sun. A chemical sunscreen limits the sun damage using several different chemicals and a physical or mineral sunblock actually reflects light away from the skin. But there are only two types of physical sunscreens that are FDA approved, which is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Both are really good options for most skin types. But if you have some more sensitive skin, then something like a mineral sunscreen might work best for you because it's less likely to cause any type of reaction with your skin compared to using chemical sunscreens. So just like any beauty products, there is going to be some ingredients you're going to want to avoid. The first ingredient is oxybenzone. This ingredient was actually banned in Hawaii because it causes damage to the coral reefs. Now I'm sure that's not something you want to be putting on your skin anyway. And it's also a form of synthetic estrogen, which can end up causing a lot of hormonal issues in the long run. So the next ingredient we want to avoid is oxynate. Like the ingredient we mentioned before, this one was also banned in Hawaii for damaging the coral coral reefs and is known to cause different skin allergies, especially in sensitive skin. The next ingredient you want to avoid in your sunscreen is avabenzo. While this ingredient hasn't been found to cause any actual hormone disruption like the other ingredient we mentioned, it was found that this ingredient does cause a lot of skin irritation and skin issues and it's also not stable in the sun which means that it needs to be mixed with different type of stabilizers in order to actually work which defeats the purpose of being used for a sunscreen now the last ingredient is going to be vitamin a or any type of retinol now this is commonly found in sunscreens but is known to actually cause more sun irritation or sunburn within the skin it can also cause excessive dryness and redness within the skin this is why it's always best to use retinols or vitamin A in your nighttime routine or paired with a really, really good sunscreen. But it's definitely not something you want to have in your sunscreen. Now let's talk about how to actually apply sunscreen the proper way. Now I know that there's a few different ways out there so I recommend using what's best for you. Now when you're applying sunscreen, you definitely want to apply more than you would your normal moisturizer. So using about one half or one fourth teaspoon is best, but you can use more or less if you're going to be wearing different products like makeup or anything like that throughout the day. And if you're a visual person, that's about a nickel to quarter size amount. I usually keep it in between depending on what I'm gonna be doing throughout the day. If I'm not wearing makeup, 
makeup, then I'll definitely apply more sunscreen. And always remember to get your ears and neck when applying sunscreen because it's super important that they get protection also. And it's recommended to use about a shot glass amount for the rest of the body. And I know it might seem like a lot, but I definitely don't recommend using any less. And always be sure to reapply depending on how long you're going to be out in the sun. It's a rule of thumb to apply about every two hours depending how long you're outside. And even though it might be harder to see the sun during the day, especially with the winter and this cold weather we've been having, but that doesn't mean the sun still isn't out. So you're definitely still going to want to wear sunscreen. And if you've been on my channel a few times, you know the sunscreens that I recommend are of course the black girl sunscreen and if you have gotten a skin consultation with me I know that there's a few different ways out there so I recommend using what's best for you then you also know my second favorite to recommend is the CVS sunscreen I'll make sure to link everything in the description box below and a new one that I've kind of been looking into is the polish choice I feel like it would sit really nice on the skin and complements pretty much all skin types and I feel like it's a great place to start if you're new to wearing more higher-end sunscreen all right, my beauties, I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned a little bit more about sunscreen. And if there's any videos you guys would like to see, let me know in the comment section below. And I am still offering virtual skin consultations. So if you would like an in-depth review of your skin by a professional, where I would recommend different products based on your skin type and your overall skin goals, then make sure you click the link in the description box or you can head over to my Instagram and ask me any questions that you might have. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video.